Hey guys and welcome back to a Sony Vegas tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to blur stuff out in your videos. Let's say for example the chat. You don't want to, people to see the chat or something like that, right? I mean, uh, I'm before I go on I'm just going to drag some clip in a uh, clip in here. Um just gonna remove the delete the tracks here the, the other audio tracks we don't need those some of you guys might be like well uh, we could just either go to the media generator and let's just make a I mean you could you could do it this way right just add a fucking black track and then go be lazy and go in here and be like hey I, I don't want to do this um, I just want a black box over my chat then just move that over here somewhere let's just see where's the chat it's up there be like see that works guys no one can see my chat now or put some media in over there but see you're taking up a lot of the, the picture as well by doing this so it's actually better i find it a lot better to actually blur stuff out if, if you're gonna remove something from your actual video you might as well just fucking blur it out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a point where there's a lot of uh, text going on in the um, in the chats let's see there we have two lines in the chat down here right we want to blur that out you can do this for, with uh, tons of other things that you want to blur out I'm just gonna teach you guys how to actually blur this stuff out okay so what we're gonna do is uh, we're actually gonna we need two tracks of the same file okay I'm going to explain you why in a few seconds. But what you can do once you've dragged your clip in, you can hold down control and then drag this clip up top. Okay? Bam. See, there you go. Now you have two of the same clips. And um, what I would do, highly suggest you do is you take both tracks and group them. So you can click on one, control click on the other, push G on your keyboard. Bam. Then they're grouped up. That means if you do something to one track, it also does it to the, well, if you cut one of the tracks up here, let me just see if I can find the right point again. It was like 115 something, right? Uh, there we go. So when I cut this one, bam, it, it cuts both of them. If I move one, it moves the other one. So I'm gonna delete this and just move it back. I'm gonna see how long that persists with the actual, um, for a little bit. This is Bloodline Champions footage, by the way. If anyone was uh, wondering what the hell it was. Wasn't there two lines in the chat at some point? There we go, until here. We're gonna just remove everything else. Doesn't really matter. So now we have this stuff here ready to, to go, right? So we want to blur this stuff out. And um, it's very, very simple. You go into the event pan crop on the top layer because this is the dominant layer right now, right? Everything we do to this one, if we added effects, actually, let's do that. I have uh, I always add effects because I use uh, Bandicam. So I'll go to color corrector, take the studio RGB to computer RGB, put that on both tracks. There we go. I don't actually drag it to the files because I need it on everything that I put in here. Just to, It just makes things look a lot better, especially when you record with Bandicam. But yeah, um, enough about that. We're on. We're, we're doing the blur tutorial, not all, all kinds of other stuff. So what you do is, if you add, if you do anything to this layer up here, right? Let's say we were zooming in, just as an example. See that it's the dominant layer, meaning we're not we're not seeing what happens below. But that doesn't really matter. Restore. Uh, we're just gonna get that in here so we can see what the hell is going on. But we need to be in the uh, event pan crop here because you have two layers here. You have the position, and that's what we normally work with when we're doing like zooms and stuff. But then you also have something here call, called mask. If you click on that, you can zoom in. If you hold down control, when you zoom in, you can actually get to move it. If not, then yeah, things start getting a little weird. This would normally be selected. So control, then just zoom in. Oh, why didn't it do that? Maybe it's because, ah, oh, there we go. Um, so you just zoom in on whatever you want blurred out, right? I'm gonna zoom a little more in just to make it nice. And um, we're gonna draw 
if you click on this one, it's called uh, Anchor Creation Tool or push D on your keyboard. You can do that as well. Then we're gonna make uh, a square around all this stuff, right? So we click here. I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust them in a few seconds. Uh, there, there. Then we'll go up and select the normal move tool, click outside, click it again, and then actually we're gonna click this one. Then we're gonna make the lines straight, right? I see now it selected that one as well. That's why I always, when I click here, I and I'm done with a with a corner, I click outside again. I'm gonna click here again. We're actually gonna actually we're gonna drag that a little over here. Click outside click here. Come on, come on, be straight. And. Um, Take this one. I, I it's just my OCD, guys. I'm sorry about this. There we go. Now we have a nice, perfect square here, right? And um, if you go back here, you can't really tell the difference, right? But if we actually mute this, uh, the bottom layer here, so mute that. Oh, all you see is that. So that's the only thing we're working with right now. Everything outside we've cut off by by masking this stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, to uh, video effects right here. We're gonna find something called I believe it's called Pixelate. I haven't done this in a long time, guys. Um, where's the? There it is, Pixelate. And we're gonna take the large large pixelation, drag that onto the actual uh, video file here. Bam! See it all? It's all kinds of pixelated right now, right? What I normally like to do is I like to go into best and full here just to make sure that it, it, it is pixelated enough. Otherwise, sometimes you might have to go into the, uh, just click here on the event effects and just drag this one to one of the sides, just a little bit. Either one of them will work and then it'll start pixelated. Sometimes there's a bug where it doesn't do it. So now you know how to fix that as well, if that's the case. So now that we've done that, we've just pixelated that layer and we do enable this one again. Oh shit, we're still in best full. Well, that doesn't really matter all that much. But see, now only this stuff is pixelated, but you could, the screen still looks nice, right? You didn't have this big black box covering the chat or some artwork or whatever. Artwork is fine. Artwork is just fine. I'm not saying you should not do that, but I'm just saying this is a neat way to do it without actually destroying a big portion of your video. So that's how you blur stuff out, guys. It's really, really simple. Um, doesn't really require all that much. Just make sure that you make two tracks of the same stuff, right? The exact same video, the exact same point of the video, and then go into the event pan crop, enable mask, and uh, then make it, make an actual mask by using the anchor creation tool. Like I said, when you're zooming in, see now I can't move, but if I hold control down, I can move it just fine. So just zoom in by holding control down. Come on, there you go. And then you have the mask, uh, the um, anchor creation tool selected. You can make the box or whatever, how much you, if, you, if it's a face as well for IRL footage, but then again, my channel's not about, about a boot <laughs> IRL stuff at all. It's about fucking video games. So yeah, um, that's how you do that, guys. It's it's very simple. You do that, and then you uh, go into Video Effects, Pixelate, and take the large pixels, drag it onto the actual clip, and then you're good to go. It's very, very simple, guys. If you like this video, please thumbs it up and uh, leave me some comments. Share the video with your friends that might be interested in this kind of stuff. And uh, take care, have fun, and see you all in the next one.